and welcome back to Cooking with Jess, Christmas edition! So today's recipe comes from where all good recipes come from, BuzzFeed. I found this nifty article that says 12 totally insta-worthy baked goods you can actually make this winter. So I'm going to take that to heart. If BuzzFeed says I can actually make it, I should be able to actually make it. That being said, what I have chosen is something called a apple rose tart with maple custard and walnut crust. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there that if it has that long of a name, I can't make it. Uh, and also, here's the picture of it. So, um, I don't have high hopes, <laughs> but it said I could make it, so I'm gonna step up to the challenge and see what happens. It's a good start when your iPad freezes and then kind of just crashes, right? Yeah, all right. So problem number one we're gonna say with this recipe is that I didn't realize that when I was starting it at 10 o'clock at night, that one of the steps is like a two hour cool time in the fridge for some kind of custard situation. Um, so what it's actually gonna be is a cool time in the freezer for as long as I have patience for, which I feel like is how cooking should work. Okay. So it doesn't say to start with the custard, but since that takes um, about seven years of my life away, I'm gonna maybe start with that and then just hope that wasn't a bad decision. I feel strongly that I should've done dishes before this. Do you think like the percentage of milk matters? So I'm gonna be honest, I can't taste the difference. So I just buy whichever milk like lasts the longest or has like the expiration date that's the furthest out. Is that how you buy milk? <laughs> that's how I buy milk. First step appears to be to boil milk. So that feels weird. You know why I already had eggs for this recipe? Uh, Cause they were calling for snow. And so I didn't want to be like left out. So I just went with the panic of the general public and was like, yeah, yeah, I definitely need to go to the store and buy like bread and eggs and milk. <laughs> Don't use eggs. Like, let's be real. I need to go to the store and stock up on pop tarts and then hope the pizza delivery guy still wants to drive in the snow. Oh, to the shell. I'm noticing that the recipe called for six egg yolks and Normally it just specifies like eggs. So does six egg yolks mean I was supposed to take out like the egg white part? Because I didn't. And does that matter? Cooking's one just big experiment. Half a cup of pure maple syrup is the same thing as Aunt Jemima's original syrup, yeah? Yes. What's the difference between kosher salt and iodized salt? Because this specifies kosher and I specifically don't have time for that. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm just stirring. I'm not really whisking. I'm just stirring with a whisk. I also feel like I needed a bigger bowl. Have I just made a series of errors? Guys, this stuff is just like not mixing. <laughs> whisk it. Whisk it good. Whisk it up. You know you should. Why don't I have a KitchenAid mixer? Anyone who is looking to give me a Christmas gift and had not yet. Mixer. I guess, or something. You're just a personal chef. Let's just bypass it all. <laughs> Slowly pour the hot milk over the eggs while still whisking. I'm sorry, does this thing think I'm a freaking magician? Ooh. Don't get hot milk on me. This now just says cook, stirring constantly over low heat until thick. Who knows how long that'll take. So it may be time to step back and evaluate. Um, this is not thickening like at all. So I maybe need to do it all again, but actually only use egg yolks. Like maybe the egg whites made a difference. Okay, this is ridiculous. I'm starting over and I'm using just the egg yolks. All right, I think for egg yolk, supposed to be make two halves of the egg. Oh, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. 
No, don't leave. You're already, you're already messing up. You're already messing up. Okay. And then I dump it in there. Yeah. And then I dump it back. Can I bypass this and just bought custard? Because I would have just bought custard. I mean, it's worth mentioning that so far this does look markedly different than it did before. Milk is still heating, so we're gonna start doing some other stuff. But here's, here's my question to the audience here. If it called for two and a half cups of walnuts, does that mean that like two and a half walnut, walnuts pre-chopped or like post-chopped? Because those are gonna be very different amounts. so I could keep stirring continuously and watch Netflix. Uh, so anyway, now, I uh, pour this through a sieve. Seems like this. So on a bad news front, it's uh, not straining through the sieve. On a good news front, I don't care, and I'm just gonna dump it all in here and proceed. So what I'm working on now is the walnut crust. And I feel like, it's, it's worth mentioning, this could like 100% have been bought, right? Like I could have bought the crust, could have bought the stupid custard crap, and then like all I would have had to do was just the little flour thingies on top. Why, why isn't that the recipe? I feel like we're not utilizing how far we've come in this world with what you can buy at the store for our recipes. All I'm saying. This says four tablespoons of unsalted butter. This is four tablespoons of salted. I hope here that they just want me to be healthy and I don't care. So I did not have a pie pan, so I had to buy one. Only I couldn't find one, but I found a cake pan. Which feels the same? Question mark? Ah, I did it! I did it! So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to slice some of these apples. It said thinly sliced, so I bought this dope thin slicer thing. I am a master chef, master chef, master chef. I am a master chef. This says cool completely and then fill with the custard. How important do we think that is? Bearing in mind, it's like 11.45 at night. I decided it's not important. All right, video people. We have custard filled pie pan. Admittedly kind of lumpy custard, but also I gave up on that whole sifting thing, so, you know, to be expected. <laughs> it's not a flower. So the apple pieces are literally disintegrating when I pick them up now. All right. Real soon this is gonna turn into just, Jessica throws apples on top of it and calls it a day. So here's where I'm at with the apple things. They are either disintegrating or just breaking when I bend them. There's no like rolling them into a nice rose option like this girl was doing. That is just not a thing. So I think I'm just gonna fold them into something that resembles roses and shove them into this thing and call it a night. This was the actual least fun thing I've ever made. If you have about seven hours to spare, um, kinda hate your life, and want to really test your level of patience, uh, maybe give this a shot as well. Uh, but if you want to see the output, or the, you know, final picture, uh, I'll show you that now. <sighs> My lessons learned from this. Don't trust BuzzFeed. Just don't. Um, this recipe is awful. Uh, never do anything that makes you bend fruit. Fruit is not meant to be bent into a rose formation. Um, never start cooking at 10 p.m. when the recipe is terrible. 
Um, really, I just, oh, there's, I don't know, the lesson learned here was this was awful. Like, this was just, this was just bad. <laughs> Like, that's really all I have to say about this. <laughs> it was just bad, guys. I hope it was at least kind of fun to watch, because it was just not even a little fun to make here. And I hope it got down to a reasonable length, because, like, straight up, I have a solid, like, three hours of footage. Oh, my God. <laughs> Merry Christmas!